What's up, forehead? Are you stopping at green lights like everybody else, but you don't want to? I got the same issue. I got hanging up brakes up front. Hanging up brakes means you stop at red lights, you stop at green lights, you stop at yellow lights, and you, you uh, stop anywhere you just don't want to stop as soon as you let off the gas. Hung up calipers are a pretty big problem. They are very easily remedied by replacing the brakes, the rotors, and the calipers. You have to replace the calipers if you have a hung up caliper. So because I have more money rolling in than fat when your mom rolls into the room, I bought myself an upgraded brake system for this truck. And we're gonna put that on today, only using hand tools. So anybody can do it. First things first, we gotta jack up the front, put it on stands. Second thing, we gotta take the wheels off. Third, we gotta take the brakes apart. And lastly, we gotta put everything back together. Super simple, super easy, let's go. All right, the first step you need to take into consideration is loosening your lug nuts before you start lifting the vehicle. So that's what we're gonna do. First, we gotta pop this thing off. We got a little pry tool right there, just for it. Pop it in there, turn it. Now for me, my lug nut tool is connected, so I'll just loosen everything just a little bit. Like that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. The next step is to go underneath and jack up on this tire. All right, so when I said hand tools, I meant the basic amount of tools that you get with any car. Because I'm too cheap to buy a jack, I'm using the one that came with my truck. I don't even know if it's gonna go that high. Now, if you really like to live life on the edge, you can skip this part. For me, however, I'm gonna put a jack stand under this. These jack stands suck because I bought them from the local AutoZone. AutoZone always just has the top quality of parts, but they're cheap. This fucking sucks. This hurts. This is a pain in the ass. Obviously, I recommend that you use a fucking shop if you're gonna do this. Ow! Can you fucking stay there? Promise me? Oh, fuck. Now that we have our jack stand underneath the axle, we can comfortably take this wheel off using our fucking hands because we're a fucking human that has posable thumbs. Future me, fucking speed this shit up. Whee! <laughs> we'll pop our wheel off. Ta-da! Now if you're like me and you gotta have the biggest truck on the block, that is a spacer. And you're gonna have one of those. Add a little bit of complication to things because the rotor can't just come on off. So now we gotta take those off to begin. You're gonna need yourself a pry bar. Luckily I got myself one of those right here. You just shove it in there. All right, that's one of eight. So if you're like me and using one small wrench on anything is really fucking hard and you can't do it grab you another wrench hook it onto the end and now you have more length to add to your leverage and it makes things quite a bit easier see and that is called using a cheater wrench So I completely scorched the other battery for the GoPro, so I'm working off of one battery now. So I'm gonna try and make everything as efficient as I possibly can. Now that I got all these nuts off the spacer, I need to get the spacer off of the hub or the rotor, whichever you wanna call it. To do that, you just need a hammer. Luckily, I bought a couple. Or a pry bar. Pry bar looks like it'll work better. And, whoa, wiggle it. There we go, we got the spacer off. But now comes the easy part. This is the hard and manual intensive part. Next part is the easy part where it's just meticulous. So you should see the meticulous part now, which is just gonna be the brake itself. And you may see a bolt here. 
and bolt here. They are your caliper bracket bolts. Now because we're doing brakes, calipers, and rotors, it's all gonna come as one, just not all completely assembled. We can pretty much take everything off all together. Putting it back on is gonna be piece by piece. Get the ABS sensor out of this loop of line. Take off this bolt and this bolt for right now, and that'll get this whole assembly off. So being that this is a hung up caliper, it's gonna grab onto this rotor as hard as it can because it's hung up. So we're gonna more than likely have to pry this off of here. The easiest way to pry off calipers and brackets is from the top in between the bracket and the rotor. You stick it in there and bump it up. Work your way down. Then if you have enough space here, you can work the other way. Now that right there is not good for the brake line. Usually you'll want to use a set of bungee cords. Once again, I don't have those. So just kind of get it tucked up there somehow and make it stay. You saw when I was prying on the caliper that the rotor was just moving. Now it's hot. It's going to be hot, but it was moving. Pop that off. Ah, toss it to the side. Now we're all ready for the new stuff. This is the easy part, so much less labor intensive, and it's just meticulous. It's all about steps. All right, so the first step of putting all your brakes back together is the rotor. You're gonna wanna do the rotor. These are performance rotors. Usually they're gonna have a sticker somewhere on the rotor that tells you what corner they're gonna go on. So we're gonna follow the directions of that sticker and put it on the front passenger side. Next step is a lot of work with the caliper. First thing we gotta do is take these bolts off. They're usually gonna be pretty tight. That's good for it. Some calipers have slider bolts. Some calipers have just slider pins. These calipers are gonna have slider pins and bolts that go through those pins. Okay, so our next step is gonna be to worry about hardware. Hardware goes in between the caliper and the caliper bracket on this part right here. It's usually really good and helpful to use your old caliper to help you figure out which one goes where. Now along with your hardware, after you put it on so you're not dealing with it all the time, most brakes will come with some brake grease. And you're gonna wanna put that brake grease on the hardware. You're gonna want these nice and lube because this is what your brake pads are gonna move against. Otherwise, you'll end up with another hung up caliper. Next, we're gonna take this, set her on down, grab those bolts, throw those into this thing. Use your ratchet, put them back in there. Get it tight, but not too tight. Well, I see you got it partially mounted. Yeah. Did you do the other side? No. <laughs> No, I was going to time-lapse the other side with the sun setting in the background. Well, you better hurry up. <laughs> now that those bolts are tight, it's time for the pads. The trick to the pads is the squealer. Right there. You want the rotor to turn into the squealer, and you want the squealer on the inside. And then the caliper sits on back in there. Most important part to remember about calipers is that the bleeder goes up all the time. You would think bleeders go down, but they go up. Do you want to be in this video? Get yourself going down the road and then we'll be like, well, damn, that, that guy right there works for a fucking cooking company. Works on fucking big rigs all day. He was watching him do it. He didn't notice that. And the next thing you know, I'm involved in a fucking lawsuit. I don't want nobody. Don't even, my name ain't working either. It's Charlie. Charlie? All right, Charlie, you don't want to be part of this video? Nope. What am I going to do? I don't fucking know. <laughs> and then the toughest part about changing calipers is the line. Take it off. You're going to have brake fluid running all over the place. But luckily, calipers came with fresh crush washers. I'm going to leave those right here so they're ready. Take this line off. Brake fluid is going to come flying out of this fucking thing. Clean off the fucking bolt, because that's where brake fluid goes. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Charlie's not answering to Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Nope, still not answering to Charlie. 
get that washer out of there. The order is bolt, washer, block, washer. And now you have a new caliper. Now this you're gonna want to be relatively tight because those are crush washers. What we're gonna do in the meantime, take your bleeder because that's gonna be the next step because calipers get sent to you empty. That's ready, brake fluid should start running down and should start filling up this bad boy. Now, we're gonna get this piece of shit out of the way. That's just a core charge at this point. Slap all of our stuff back together. All right, and now that you got your mock-up, you got all your parts here, you're gonna wanna make sure that you take your bolts that you took off in the back, you're gonna wanna tighten those. What are you gonna wanna tighten those to? Your manufacturer torque spec. Keep in mind, they are brake parts. If they are too loose, you're not gonna have brakes, and you're not gonna stop, and I'm not gonna be responsible for you fucking up your shit, okay? So these get torqued to manufacture torque spec. Click. Click. And then you slap your wheel on, or in my case, spacer and wheel. These are connected directly to the spacer. These are gonna get torqued too, because this is connected to the wheel. All right, once again, I'm not responsible for your wheel falling off. So these are gonna go to your manufacturer torque spec. I'm also gonna time lapse this because it takes forever, okay? Watch and learn. All right, right about now you're probably thinking, hey Chris, didn't you leave one of those bolts open on the caliper? You're absolutely right, I did. And I did that for a reason. I know I gotta take this off. I know I gotta do the other side. But before I do the other side, I did this side for a reason. One, it's the further side from the master cylinder. Two, this is the side that has sunlight. <laughs> so there's one step left and that's to bleed the caliper. To do that, all you're gonna do is open your hood, Make sure you fill your brake fluid reservoir, and if you're alone and lonely like I am, you're not gonna have an assistant. So they do sell a one-man brake bleeder, and you're gonna use one of those. I'm gonna show you how to use it. Okay, so in the one-man bleeder kit, you're gonna get a little bottle, some hoses, and some fittings. You take this fitting, and you shove it into your bleeder just like that. You take your bottle, and it has a magnet on it. You set that magnet above where the caliper is, and then, all you do is go inside and pump the brakes and you make sure you do it slowly. Every couple of pumps, you're gonna have to empty out your container. So to empty out your container, you have to close your caliper, which means to tighten the bolt, pop out your needle, lift it above your bottle, Take your bottle off, and you're gonna dump it in an EPA container. Now what you're supposed to do is go until the liquid is clear, if you're doing a full brake flush, or if you're like me, and you're just putting on a new caliper, you can go until there's no more bubbles. But it is best to go until the liquid is fully clear. When you're ready to put it back on, loosen your bleeder again, connect everything back up, and pump again. I'm gonna do this about two times, and then we're gonna call it done for this side. All right, and then when you're all done, take everything out like you would before, tighten, remove everything, and put on your cap. And your calipers are good, fresh, and performance, baby. Look at them back there. See them peeking through? Hell yeah. All right, and there's one final step. We're gonna come back over yonder, get our jack stand the hell out of here, and lower our jack. Then when our tire hits the ground and we can't turn it anymore, torque your lug nuts to the manufacturer torque specification. Beep, beep. Make sure you're also going in that star pattern from before. One, two, three, four, five. Last but not least, 
pop this fucking thing on. That's one side done. Now, I'm gonna go do a time lapse of the other side. While I do that, there's no better time than for you to go down below, drop a like, hell, maybe even subscribe. I do this kind of stuff all the time. Uh, this is like the second dually video, so there's gonna be more dually videos. You could also go over to the Twitch. So much easier to drive than that wild ass fucking truck. Slow cars are where it's at. That's why I picked the Subaru. I wonder how much hate I'd get for the Subaru drivers. <laughs> They're not watching Twitch, they're replacing head gaskets. I'm over there Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, sometimes Fridays, and barely sometimes Saturdays. But, it's a thing that I do. When you sub, you get some cool little emotes that I'm popping up on the screen. I'm there way more than I am over on the Utizzles. Let's go do the other side, do the break in, and compare. So I've been at this, it probably took me about an hour to do one side. So that's more realistic than how long it took me considering that the sun was up when I started. I don't have shop cleaning soap or anything like that. But what I do have is Dawn and if that's good enough for ducks and oil, well, it should be good enough for my hands, right? Cause that's how it works. Anyway, tomorrow when the sky doesn't look like that, break the brakes and seating the brakes. It's something along those lines. But I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. All right, well, new day, new me. And there's one last thing to do, and that's to set the brakes into their place. Essentially, that's that's what it's gonna be doing. And the process is pretty simple. First things first is you get the vehicle up to 45 miles an hour and stop. Moderate braking, nothing too crazy. Just get them going. Next, you take the vehicle, take it up to 60 miles an hour, and stop. Let's see if we stop ourselves anymore. Oh, fucking barely, baby. Third, you take the vehicle up to 45 miles an hour again and stop. Forty-five and stop. And your brakes are set. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I love all of you. Uh, if you're still here and you somehow, for some reason, want more of me, feel free to go on over to the Twitch, like I mentioned before, and you can find some VODs and some fun stuff, actually. The VOD for editing this might still be there. Probably go check it out, let me know. Uh, let me know what I should do next on this thing. We've already done a stereo and a sound system. We got some subs in the back. I, I never recorded that stuff. I'm thinking headlights and fog lights and some tail lights, all LEDs. Uh, let me know what you guys are thinking. I'm also thinking maybe some wheels and tires, so which one should come first? But until then, I'm Chris on a six, and I will see you guys in the next one.
Welcome to my party, we're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars Crashing in my car, wake up in a bar I'll be a superstar, 